guys, it's Nicole here with Mommy Tips by Cole. I am in a different setup. I'm actually in the same area where I normally film when I film indoors. Um, but we changed the room around and now I'm still in this corner, but it looks a little bit different. No makeup table here, so it's a little less distracting for you guys. Um, so this is going to be my pregnancy update. And I'm like out of breath um, for week 13, although technically today as I film this, I am 14 weeks. Oh my gosh, so I'm into my second trimester. And yeah, so let's start with being out of breath. I find that I'm out of breath a lot. I won't even have to be doing anything, any, anything really strenuous or like running around, um, even going up and down. I mean, if I'm just like, I was just filming another video before I started filming this and felt out of breath so um that is one of the major things lately um i as i moved into the second trimester i thought i was completely over um the whole fatigue and tiredness and super emotional um hormonal phase although i know i'm hormonal throughout the entire pregnancy usually um but i was extremely 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 hormonal and very very tired for the first half of my first trimester so I thought it was kind of in the clear because it kind of weaned itself away um, but just within this past week I grew really really tired really really tired this past week the 13th week my last update was at 11 weeks when I was in my going into my 12th week and you know not much has really changed drastically in the past two weeks although aside from um, being tired again. I had like two, three random naps um, within the past week, which really surprised me. Um, they're more like cat naps. I mean, the longest was like two hours and the shortest was like 30 minutes. So, you know, that really surprised me because on those days I wasn't doing anything, you know, really crazy in the day that would make me feel tired or even the day before. I was just tired. Um, other than that, um, I'm not, I don't feel as emotional or hormonal as I did. Um, you know, I get my moments and my husband's always telling me, oh my gosh, you are so sensitive. You're so emotional because he's used to it. And he just thinks it's funny, although I don't. Um, what else can I say? As far as weight gain, I feel like, I think I probably gain additional one to two pounds since my last check. Um, I did go to the doctor twice within the past two weeks. Um, I had a checkup and then I had genetic testing yesterday actually, um, being that I just turned 35. Technically, I am supposed to have genetic testing. So that is cell-free um, testing, which is non-invasive. Um, I'm not getting an amnio. I had the cell-free testing. Um, there's so many different names for it because there's different brands. I think I did Informaseek. I know there's Harmony. Um, and basically, it's just blood work, blood being drawn. And, you know, they test for different types of chromosome deficiencies. Um, and since they're looking at the chromosomes, they actually will be able to see the sex of the baby. So I think I get that result in one to two weeks. And I'm on the fence of wanting to know right away and then surprising the kids and the family. But um, a couple of my friends were trying to convince me maybe I should let myself and Brian be surprised with the kids. So I don't know if I necessarily want to do a gender reveal party. Um, I might just have a get together with a few people and of course my immediate family um, and film it. So that will be my way of telling you guys what the gender is. Uh, my suspicions, as I mentioned in my last vlog, it's probably a girl, although I know everybody's like, oh, boy, it would be great because it'll be even to voice your girls, and Dylan really wants a boy, and the girls want a girl, and for me, all I want is the baby to be healthy, as always, um, but I just have this suspicion that it could be a girl, although I could be wrong, because with Emmeline, I, I knew it was a girl. With Malia, I swore up and down she was a boy until my 20-week ultrasound, and then it was a girl, and with Dylan... I had a feeling it was the boys, so, you know, there's a 50-50 chance, so I could be right, I could be wrong, I don't know, we'll see, but I'm really excited that I get to know earlier than 20 weeks, um, so just stay tuned for that, I don't know what exactly or how we're going to do that, if you guys have suggestions, I've been looking on Pinterest, 
and I'm not really interested in doing the cake um, or cupcakes version of um, the gender reveal. Um, I had met somebody that did the balloon pop with like confetti, but she said she actually used um, shredded tissue paper because the confetti would probably pop the balloon prematurely. Um, and then I've seen like balloons inside a big box. So if there are other fun ways that are similar to that, that will be like instant for everybody that's around to know and would look great on camera too for you guys to see the reveal. Um, leave your suggestions down below because you know I'm really picking my brain to you know make a decision because I'm so indecisive um, especially when it comes to stuff like that and I'm super controlling so that's the part of me that's like not that wants to know before I plan this because I want to plan it for the kids but being that it's my fourth you know my friend was saying that it'd be great for myself and Brian to be surprised with the kids and it'll be really genuine and fun to see our reactions on camera not only the kids but mine because the first announcement was showing the kids reactions so this will be a way to show you our reaction as parents as well um so I'm leaning more towards that so if you guys have suggestions let me know um as far as any other physical issues or um changes not really I do feel my belly is growing it feels more rounder I mean looks more rounder um, I'm still wearing my regular size clothing like you've seen in my haul before I just I've been getting wearing dresses a lot or skirts stuff that's stretchy um, I haven't really bought anything maternity yet although I know I'll probably need a couple of maternity pants leggings and um, basic tops I have one tank top left that's maternity everything I've got rid of everything um, so I probably will purchase a couple of small things here and there as I grow and more so in the fall because it's still hot out and I will need that stuff from the fall into the winter and I don't want to spend too much on maternity because it's expensive and then I won't use it afterwards and um, it just doesn't make sense. So I just want to get, if I do purchase a few items, it's just going to be basic things that I could use over and over, like tanks and t-shirts I can use because they will be made for my belly, but I could throw on cardigans or kimonos or sweaters on top um, that button or I can keep open um, when it gets cold and then wear them with leggings and jeans and stuff like that. I did a pregnancy um, clothing something like that video or how to like a long time ago when I started YouTube so I probably should watch that again um, other than that um, cravings it's the same my my meat my weird meat aversion is still there occasionally I will try to eat chicken occasionally I will try to eat beef although I'm really turned off by um, beef and pork especially but it's weird because I think on one occasion I had like a piece of bacon but I couldn't eat the whole thing and um, like I had chipotle with chicken yesterday so I was fine with that and I tried to eat like half a burger of Wendy's and I was like this I don't know it just doesn't sit well and I'll stare and stare and stare at what to eat and it'll just nothing will appeal to me and if unless it's not regular toasted bread but like you know like Italian bread with butter or some kind of roll um baked potato I still love um occasionally french fries with cheese um but not all, all the time. Um, I think sometimes I crave soups. It's just really, really random. Um, but I haven't been eating a lot of meat, which the doctor said it's okay, just as long as I get my protein elsewhere. Like I love, thing, I get things through cheeses, um, milk. I'm not really drinking coffee. Occasionally I have tea. I'm trying to drink a ton of water, although I don't feel like I'm drinking enough. And maybe that is why. This week, if you followed my daily vlogs, I've been having really horrible, horrible headaches. Um, one day, I guess it was a migraine, my head was like, felt like it was going to explode. I felt like nauseous and I vomited and that made me feel relieved, but it didn't fully, fully go away. And a couple of you guys recommended peppermint oil and I have to order that because I know you, so many of you have told me to get that because it's something natural, it's put on my temples or behind my ears or something like that. Some of you recommended trying vapor rub. I haven't tried that yet. And I do have that. So maybe I'll try that next time. I'm just hoping it doesn't get as bad. And I'm thinking maybe it's because I'm not hydrated enough. And 
Um, that was always my problem during pregnancies. I wasn't hydrated enough. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing much has changed. Not big, no major differences. And um, by the next time I will do my update, it will be for my 15th week. And I will probably know the sex by then and maybe you guys will too if I post the video before my vlog and I will see you next time. Oh, I have to show you the belly. I can't forget the, the belly shot. So again, I have a dress on and the background is is dark. So there is the belly. I feel like I'm showing so much more earlier than with the other three. I feel like with each pregnancy, I was showing much sooner so I'm so excited to share this with you guys thank you for watching my journey leave me any comments down below because I love 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 reading your comments um, it makes me more excited to do more videos and sometimes when I don't get comments although I see the views or likes I just feel like maybe they clicked out <laughs> maybe I was boring maybe I gap too much which I do so um, anyways I'll see you next time